Hey everybody, Tragic MTG back again. Here we go again with Packbot 3000 to dispense some packs for me. Got one more row to get through here. Let's start off with a pack of Ikoria. And of course, we'll scan up the rares. Uh, I think this is a side opener, and it actually worked. All right, let's go. Human Soldier Swamp. A Vivian, very nice right off the bat. We got a Mythic Planeswalker. Vivian Monsters Advocate. Three and two green, and comes into play with three loyalty. You may look at the top card of the library any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. That's pretty solid. And she does some other stuff. And she's six ninety nine. Excellent. There we go. We got a Stormwild Caprador, a Grim Dancer, and a Majestic Oracorn. I still like the showcases out of this set. So K Fumes, a Mammoth, an Otter. Fun stuff. I like Akoria. Come on. Come on. Everybody likes Akoria. Anyway, moving on. Eventide. Here we go. We got Snake Form. Mimic. Skulkin. Willian. Not sure about some of these. Favor of the Overbeing. Might be worth a little bit. It's not. Puncture Blast, a Kelpie, a Bone Nar, Zealot. We got a rules tip for untapping. The untap symbol. We got a Belligerent Hatchling, a Deergar Cave Guard, Cash Raiders, and a Creekwood Leeds. Very cool. For one, and then hybrid green and black. Three more mana. Other black creatures you control get 1 1. Other green creatures you control get 1 1. Beginning of your upkeep, you may put a 1 1 black and green worm creature token into play. It's a pretty cool card. Um, I don't know if it, how many times it's been reprinted. Maybe a couple. And can it actually be scanned? Hold on. What is it? Not seeing it. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I finally saw it. Creekwood Liege, 969. Alright, that's a good hit. Moving on to the next pack. Journey into Nyx. Wow. Sometimes the packs just don't open the way you want them to. Font of Vigor. The Chosen. Lampads. Shore Stalker. A Reprisal. Fleet Feather Cockatrice. Nyx Weaver. Bearer of the Heavens, 10-10 for 7 and a red. When it dies, destroy all permanents at the beginning of the next end step. <laughs> That's interesting. And it's not a big one, but that would be a bit of a game changer, right? So we got Spider Token. Next up, pack a jump start. Cool, let's open this up and see how see how this goes. What is it gonna be? Wizards. Alright, cool. Any good wizards in this in this set? Okay, hold on. The opener is on this thing right here. Wizards, Riptide Laboratory. You can uh, tap it to add a colorless, or you can pay one and a blue to return target wizard you control to its owner's hand. Reprint from Onslaught, I think. There's an Odyssey and Modern Horizons, apparently. So I'm not going to change it. Shipwreck Dowser. All wizards here. Exclusion mage. Uh, I don't think that's going to be worth a whole lot. Tolerance invocation, invocation. Wizards retort. Might be worth a little bit. It was worth something when it was in, uh, in standard, right? Rookie mistake. Opt. It's a classic. Dalian arcanist. Transmuter. Savant. Sea Oracle. There's a thriving isle. We'll scan that one. Nothing big now. Winged Words is a good card, but it's been reprinted now. Read the ties. And here's the Wizard Island. Let's see if that's worth anything. Not really. Those have come down a bit. They were kind of a thing. I'm going to save it for myself. And then we just got some basic islands. So that was a pack of Jumpstart, which is a lot of fun to play. Next up, Fifth Dawn.
Reign of Rust. Amir. Cocoon. Baton. Vicious Betrayal. We got Lunar Avenger. Eternal Witness. Very good uncommon. Hey, another good uncommon. Eternal Witness 422. KCI. Krark Clan Ironworks. And sacrifice an artifact to add two to your mana pool. That's a infinite engine, I think, right? And then for the rare, we got a Blink Moth Infusion. So Krark Clan Ironworks, 23 bucks. Yep, it still is up to its old tricks in some formats. I think it was banned at one point. Is it unbanned now in modern? I'm not sure. Blink Moth Infusion for 12 and two blue. It's got affinity for artifacts. You can untap all artifacts. So definitely good for your Mega Artifacts deck, right? 749. Couple of nice hits right there out of this pack. Great. Battle Bond. Here we go. This one's got a side opener. Ah, oh, it didn't work. A zombie, a Plains, and a Grothama, all devouring. Got a Mythic. Three and two green. Legendary Worm, 10 8. Other creatures have, whenever this creature attacks, you may have it fight Grothama, all devouring. When Grothama leaves the battlefield, each player draws cards equal to the amount of damage dealt to Grothama this turn by sources they control. That's a fun card. I like it. It's five something. There we go. Assassin Strike, Cheering Fanatic, and Bring Down. I don't know if uh, in the uncommons in uh, this set are any good, but let me know down below if I missed one. Sky Shroud Claim is a good common. Two ninety five. Rapid Flames, totally lost. Huddle up. Peace Strider. Alright, good pack. Avacyn restored. Let's do it. A Sanctifier. Some Trappers. Gambit. Scroll. Thunderous Wrath. Mass Appeal. Homicidal Seclusion. Angel of Glory's Rise. Five and two white. Uh, four, six flying when Angel of Glory's Rise enters the battlefield. Exile all zombies. Then return all human creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's good in a human's deck. Versus zombies specifically. <laughs> Alright, next up. Corset 2020. Oops. It's like falling apart. Funny how they do that sometimes. Fairy Miscreant. Predator Cutthroat, Duress, Eternal Isolation, Blood for Bones, Yarox Wave Crusher, Cavalier Dawn, very cool, got one of the Cavaliers. Two and three white, each Elemental Knight, four, six, Vigilance when Cavalier Dawn enters the battlefield. Destroy up to one target non land permanent, its controller creates a 3 3 golem. When it dies, return target artifact or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. The Cavalier Cycle from M20 is, is kind of a beast, I think. Three bucks. The green one is doing really well. The black one is a good one. Stone Golem in foil. Blossoming Sands. There we go. Alright, last pack here is a pack of Weatherlight. Fun times. And we're going to do four to the back. That should be the rare there. We've got a Jangling Automaton. Look at these retro borders. Fog Elemental. Benelish Missionary. Tree Folk. Infantry. Striped Bears. Betrothed the Fire. Fatal Blow. Sage Owl. Dusk Rider Falcon. Blossoming Wreath. Alright, Uncommon. Steel Golem. Mist Moon Griffin. Lanawar Behemoth and the rare Lotus Veil. Very nice. Love it. Reserve this card. When Lotus Veil comes into play, sacrifice two untapped lands or bury Lotus Veil. And tap it to add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Um, so this would be good with a stifle effect. Same you same way you would use um, oh, there's a different Lotus uh, from M20 that does a similar effect without having to sacrifice the un it's the untapped lands that kills this thing right lotus veil vale. reserve list 44 bucks that's a nice hit right there all in all i am happy with my packs from packbot today 
We had a good time cracking packs with you guys. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, and I will see you later.